Good morning everyone, this is Haralamos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 31st of uh, January. Bank of Japan keeps uh, policy unchanged and raises uh, GDP forecasts. The Bank of Japan kept its policy framework unchanged overnight by a 7 to 2 vote. Even though the bank did not change its forecasts with regards to inflation, it did raise its expectations with regards to GDP growth for the next uh, three years. Perhaps as a result of this uh, more optimistic assessment, the knee-jerk reaction in the yen was positive, though the currency gave back its gains to trade virtually unchanged against its major counterparts in the following minutes. Dollar yen has been in a declining mode since Monday and could continue lower for a while, perhaps for a third test near the 112.60 key support zone. Nevertheless, given that the rate oscillates between that support hurdle and the resistance of 115.50 since the 11th of January, we prefer to remain sidelined as long as this uh, short-term sideways range is in force. Looking ahead, we believe that uh, the Bank of Japan is likely to keep its current policy stance unchanged for a while as it continues to monitor the effects of its newly introduced uh, yield control framework. As for the tapering chatter, we stick to our guns that it is far too early for such an action. Therefore, as long as the bank keeps long-dated yields near 0% and the whole reflation theme remains intact in other major economies, the yen is likely to underperform its major counterparts in the months to come. In the US, uh, yesterday, President Trump uh, demonstrated his uh, determination to reduce uh, regulatory burdens in uh, the US. His latest executive order aims at cutting uh, regulations massively for small businesses and, st and states that for every new government regulation moving forward, two other uh, regulations uh, must be scrapped. In our view, this is another sign of uh, the new administration's uh, commitment to, to its pre-election promises, something that could increase speculation that the president may follow through his uh, fiscal pledges as well. The attention of uh, dollar traders is now likely to turn to the FOMC policy, deci policy decision tomorrow. Since uh, the committee is widely expected to remain on hold, the focus will be on what signals policymakers send with regards to the likelihood for the next uh, rate hike. Considering that there has been further improvement in uh, economic data since the December gathering, we expect an optimistic tone overall, which could uh, reignite investors' optimism around the greenback. Euro dollar tumbled yesterday, falling below the upside support line taken from the low of the 3rd of uh, January. Nevertheless, the decline was stopped by the 106.25 support level, and then the rate rebounded to find resistance at 107.10. The break below the aforementioned upside, upside support line has confirmed the negative divergence between our short-term oscillators and the price action, and may have turned the short-term outlook back uh, to the downside. As such, we expect the bears to take uh, charge again at some point and aim again for, uh, for, for 106.60, where a break may open the way for another test near the support of 106.25. Uh, As for today's highlights, during the European Day, Eurozone's uh, preliminary CPI for January will be released. The forecast is for the headline rate uh, to have risen, but, but for the core rate to have remained unchanged. Even though an increase in the headline rate could prove somewhat positive for the euro, as long as uh, the core uh, CPI rate remains unchanged, we expect the ECB to keep its uh, current policy stance uh, intact. ECB President Draghi made it uh, clear at the latest policy meeting that uh, until there are convincing signs of an upward trend in core inflation, the bank is likely to remain rather dovish. We also get uh, the bloc's uh, preliminary estimate of, uh, of the fourth quarter's uh, GDP. In the UK, Parliament will begin a two-day debate over the government's uh, Brexit bill. Even though lawmakers are ov overwhelmingly expected to vote for the bill in order uh, for the government to proceed with uh, triggering Article 50 by, by the end of March, as previously indicated, we will listen closely to the debate for any new signals regarding any negotiating, any negotiating objectives, as well as uh, the priorities of uh, the opposition parties. From Canada, we get uh, GDP data for November, and the forecast is uh, for a rebound uh, in monthly terms, something that could bring the Canadian dollar under renewed buying interest. 
as uh, for the speakers today, besides UK lawmakers, we have ECB President Mario Draghi on the agenda. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Haralamos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.